Hi, I'm going to show you how to use formatting tools in Google Docs to get your paper looking like Vancouver style formatting. First of all, I can see here that I've got a paper, it's got references, but none of it's formatted correctly. I'm going to select the whole thing. You can do control A to select. I'm going to choose the line spacing first. So let's double space everything. There we go. It's all double spaced now. And here I've got the title, it needs to be centered. So I'm going to select it and choose center. Now looking down here, I can find that my references start right here. I'm going to make it go to a new page. So I'm going to click insert page break and it will automatically go to the next page. And if I type something down here, it won't push that any further down the page. I'm going to select references and I'm going to center those as well. So now I've got the paper and I have got the references and they're on separate pages. That's a good start. Now I'm going to select the references and number them. Select all the, oops, select all the references. And select the number tool up here. There we go. Um, the numbers are over here and this is hanging a little bit over. That should be correct. I'm also going to deal with the font now. So I'll select the whole thing again. It needs to be in Times New Roman or Arial, another conservative font like that. I'm going to choose Times New Roman. It looks really official. And you can see that with the inserting the page break, it didn't change where the references start. So that's good. Next, I want to put in a title page. Let's do that insert page break again. So now I've got a title page up here that's blank. And up here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my title. And I am going to put my name. I am going to put my course. So now I've got a title page. It doesn't look very good. I'm going to take this down a little bit here. It looks really boring and that's okay, but I'm going to insert an SQU seal there to make it look like an official part of SQU. So I'm just going to search for Sultan Qaboos University seal. Here I've got one from Wikipedia and I'm going to copy that image and I'm going to put it into my document. Wow, that's way too big. Let's make it smaller. Okay, it's centered. That's perfect. I, if it's not centered, I can change that by choosing up here, centered or not centered. Now I need some other things on here. I need the running header, and that's the title. It means it's going to put the title on every page of my report. It's not so important with reports that are pretty short like this, but later you'll need to have longer papers that make a big difference. Okay, it's over to the left. And then over here, I need to insert page numbers. So I'm just going to be in the header. I don't want it to show on the first page. That's my title page. I'm going to start it on zero so that the title page starts with zero and it actually just starts the numbers on the first page of my report. Uh, it's very close to the title. I'll use the tab key to tab it over to the right place. There we go. And now we can see that there's no number on the title page. We've got a number on page one, a number on page two, a number on the references. And I can see here that my margins are not the right size. So let's go fix that too. File, page setup, portrait, A4, that's correct. These all need to be one. That's standard for Vancouver style and for most other styles. And you'll see what changes here. There we go. We've got big margins now around the edges like it's supposed to be. My page numbers are messed up. Let's go back. There we go. It's in the right place. To change the heading, you just double click in the area that's up above the writing. So now I've got my title page. I have got my header and the page number, header and page number, header and page number, header and page number. Everything is double spaced. It's the right font. I've got Times New Roman here and everything is looking pretty good. Now it's Vancouver style.